I'm excited to be here with Davis Love, team member of RSM, also captain of the recent victorious 2016 Ryder Cup team, and recently honored as a 2017 inductee into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Great to be with you. Thanks, Joe. Excited to be here. You know, it's uh, interesting coming off of the Ryder Cup. Uh, obviously, there had to be a lot of great experiences. And, and uh, just give us your perspective on what it was like to be the team captain. Well, uh, as captain in 2012, <laughs> in 16, I kind of knew what was coming. Um, we had a much uh, a deeper game plan this time. You know, obviously, after losing in 10 and 12 and 14, we went back and kind of reassessed what we were doing. and. Um, put together a great leadership team. You know, obviously it wasn't just me. I had great assistant captains, had great support from the PGA of America. So uh, we had a better game plan and it was a, it was a rewarding experience, whether we won or lost, because we started kind of a new era of Ryder Cup golf. And I think we, we did a very good job. And then the, the guys played great and made us look really smart. You know, that's, that always helps, right? Yeah. You know, you talk about leadership and, you know, we of course spent a lot of time on our leadership and developing our, our leadership team. And Recently, we had uh, a, a person come in and speak to us about perspective taking and the importance of looking at it from other people's point of view. And I understand that some of the things changed with regard to the way you kind of ran the, the Ryder Cup this year in terms of getting other people's perspectives. Can you talk about that? Right. Well, after um, three losses in a row, um, the PGA of America, which you know owns and operates the, the Ryder Cup, they said we need to get the, the players a little bit more involved and give them a little bit more of a sense of ownership. So they formed a committee of past players, past captains, you know, from Raymond Floyd all the way to Ricky Fowler, a wide variety of guys. And, you know, Tiger and Phil and Jim Furyk and Tom Lehman and I, we all sat down in a room and we said, what do we need to do to get this back on the right track? But the PGA of America gave the players um, the input to feel like we were making the decision. So we made the decision on who the next captain was gonna be. It ended up being me. Um, we made the decisions on how we were going to run the team rather than being told, now you're on the team, here's what we're gonna do. So I think uh, a sense of, uh, of ownership and a sense of having input and then putting a team together that was gonna work on this, not just for 2016, but for the next 10 Ryder Cups and build a platform that could be successful over and over again. Great. So again, another important area you need is trusted advisors. I mean, obviously we feel like we're trusted advisors to our clients. So who did you lean on when, it, when the pressure was most on at the Ryder Cup? Well, leading up to the Ryder Cup, we did a better job this time on leaning on experts, whether it was Bob Rotella, our sports psychologist, uh, Scout Sync, a company we hired to do statistics for us, which we had never had in the past. Um, we have statistics on individual play from the PGA Tour, but we don't have any statistics really that we can rely on on team play, on how do you match players together. So those kind of experts were important. We relied on past captains. They have more experience at it than, than me or the, than the future captains. And then while we were playing, we set this game plan and I had assistant captains, Tom Lehman, Tiger Woods, Jim Furyk, Steve Stricker, Bubba Watson, to ask, when I had a question, I could ask somebody that was also an expert or that could be a future captain, or Tom Lehman's case, was a former captain. I'm nervous in this situation. <laughs> How do I handle it? What should I do? And then to get that advice, and they would say, look, here's the advice, now you make the decision. We trust you. And I think building up that trust with your, with your leadership team made the decision making a lot easier. So, you know, with all the great things that happened at the Ryder Cup, were there a couple of like your favorite moments that you could share with us? I think um, we really bonded together well as a team. Uh, Zach Johnson came up with this uh, kind of team building joke on Thursday night. Uh, Ricky Fowler had given guys these onesie outfits and Zach had brought this um, t-shirt that he thought would be very funny, a team building thing. So they all came down one night with their onesies on and exposed that they were wearing <laughs> Make Tiger Great Again t-shirts. And it was a big laugh and a big, big team building fun time. But the most important thing that came out of it is Tiger got up and spoke. And he's never really done that in a team atmosphere. He never let us in his head. And he was the iconic sports figure that spoke to our team to motivate him. But he was a team member and somebody we've always looked up to. The guys won 80 times and beat the stew out of every one of us on the team. And to have him help motivate us, that was a special moment for the team right before we went out to compete. 
maybe that had something to do with us being 4-0 the next morning, you know. So Tiger was a big influence. And then at the end, Saturday night, and then also on Sunday, Bubba Watson was a big influence. He was uh, very emotional. But for him to say that it was the greatest golf experience of his life, both Saturday night and then Sunday, really showed how the team came together and, and bonded. So a um, lot of fun, a lot of special moments, but uh, the best was spraying that champagne off that, br <laughs> off that bridge at Hazeltine on Sunday afternoon. Such an exciting day. Switching gears a little bit, you know, you, the game of golf, certainly RSM, we value stewardship. It's just something that it's very important regarding giving back to the community. Why is that so important to you in the game of golf? Well, I think that's what the tour is built on. Um, people seem to, you know, they see us giving money to charity, but they don't understand every tournament on the PGA Tour is owned and operated by a charitable organization. It's not owned and operated by the PGA Tour. So I grew up in that culture. My dad hosting a PGA Tour event when I was a kid, my dad playing in PGA Tour events, and then me watching the icons of the game, Jack Nicklaus and Arnold Palmer, form their own tournaments, give money to charity. So I wanted to follow along, give something back to the game that had given me so much. A great opportunity, obviously, here at Sea Island that's had championship golf for so long. And then with Zach being an RSM team member and saying, hey, I've got the perfect partner for us to have a tournament at Sea Island, it all came together. But just giving back to our community, giving back to the game that's meant so much to me is just part of the culture of the tour. Well, thank you for joining me today, sharing some of your personal and professional achievements. And certainly we look forward to many, many successes ahead. And congratulations again on the Ryder Cup and on the Hall of Fame nomination. It's uh, incredible. Thank you very much. We're very proud to have you as a team member. Thank you. Proud to be a part of Team RSM. Thanks.